Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm gonna show you a quick guide on taming the new the new war pigs. Uh, the Dedon, Dedon. Okay, we're just gonna call them war pigs. How about that? And um, currently at the moment, I find that creature, those new uh, these new war pigs, very powerful. They're very very strong. Uh, in PVE. PvP, PvE, anything you like it. So you will most likely, f you will find most of them around the snow area between the Bulu Obelisk and the Snow Mountain, which is around 30 latitude and 50 longitude. Over. I'm playing a modded server, so I can actually see the exact coordinates. So they're around this area, 30 and 50. Oh, there is one. So we're gonna be taming this guy. Now, when it comes to these war pigs, I'm not really concerned too much about the level of them. The levels pretty much don't mean much to me. Um, and the reason why I say this is because you're gonna find yourself leveling mostly food on them, but obviously the higher the level, the better. Alright, so let me get rid of these darvels. Unfortunately, the Dedons don't fight anything but herbivores. They also, oddly enough, they don't. They do fight T Rexes, which makes no sense to me. So I'm gonna be luring this guy after they kill this uh, Ankylo. Also, one of the things I find out about them is that when you knock them out, currently they probably have gonna have 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 their food bar drained. So I'm not sure if every time they use their healing ability while they're wild, it drains their food bar. So I'm gonna hit them a couple times and let them heal and then I'm gonna knock them out. I wanna see how far I can drop the food bar. So I personally, I personally, I'm a little bit greedy. I am very greedy when I when I tame. And what I mean greedy is that I don't I don't do the conventional taming when it's you know lure the dinosaur, lure the creature to a cage and just knock it out that way. I, I'm very lazy when it comes to the, those things. I just I just don't want to go through the top of making a cage everywhere I go for taming. So I should like luring them to a spot where I think is saved and. And I'm able to do this thanks to the thanks to the Talio. Talio is very, very useful loud mount for these things. Now I'm gonna try to get this pig here as well. I'm gonna hit him once. Hopefully he reaggers on me. Otherwise I'll just keep luring this one to me. So we're gonna take this one back to base. I think I'm gonna do the other one later on. So once again, I, I don't even bother looking at the level. I just want I just wanna have one. This one is only level five. I think one of my trimates lure um at level 115 back to base. Whoa. One of my trimates lure at level 115 back to base. So that's that's nice. Oh, it's level 75. I'm gonna be luring this guy back here as well. So I'm not really concerned too much about the levels. So there is one knocked out there. So I'm going to allow my I'm going to allow my um, my Talio to take lots lots of damage. Now, I do have an Ascendant Crossbow for taming, but that's totally okay. I'm gonna be a little bit greedy. I'm gonna run back and forward. Now, you can actually bola. You can bola the, the, the dead ones. Unfortunately, I don't have any, um, any bolas on me. I'm gonna use this, the Dicarus, as a shield. Okay, so there is one knocked out. 
I potato that. No one saw that. So, so one of the things about luring them back to my base also means that I'm kind of safe for, for quite a while. So this one, that one is almost knocked out. I'm gonna chase that one. All right. So he he went to sleep. I have a lot of of this war pigs knocked out now. That was a female level 80. So she's constantly trying to reheal. Trying to make sure she hasn't go too far. So I'm blocking her and trying to lure her in another direction. So now all of them. Oh my, I have like so many knocked out actually. Three, four. I think my tram is brought this one back here. Oh, ooh, 115. So they do lose torpor. Uh, Quickly, quickly, uh, and they do consume one don kibble, but you can also use primate on them. So if you don't have any any kibble, you can use primate. You can use you can use mutton. You can use. Oh, this one died. Oh, did I kill it? Well, it's only level five. They use mutton, prime meat, or kibble. So we're gonna be using, uh, in this case, I'm gonna be using mutton. All right, so we're gonna be crafting a couple um, the add-on saddles, which require 20 metal, 155 fiber, and 290 hide. So it's not that expensive. Well, it's not that expensive when you think about it. And honestly, uh, you probably won't be saddling them. You will probably won't be saddling that many of them. Unless you really want to run it. So, one of my demons is currently healing my Talio. He's healing. He's healing decently fast. Now let me try putting the saddle on him. Let's see how much the HP goes. Sub by now, this they don't obviously has almost no food now. I'm gonna put some food in here. He is almost healed. I feel like this is almost. I feel like this is a lot quicker than just force feeding. So I could probably just heal and force feed at the same time, and I can just get this Talia back in full HP. In almost no time which is really nice so I, I I find that I find that a little OP uh, also one other thing you have to keep in mind that you, you gotta make sure you have a feeding troll next to this war pig because as I said before every time they heal they consume their food bar so I'm gonna Focus on leveling only their food, and that's all I really care about. Just leveling their food. <laughs> they are, they are quite adorable. So yeah, that's all. I, that's all I really care about. Focusing on healing the their food, and, and that's it. I hope. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed this quick tutorial. Uh, they can also heal uh, rock elementals as well. So he, he just been healing this for elemental as well. But yeah, uh, I hope everyone enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time.